Once you've completed your thesis, uh, the last thing that you're likely to want to do is add a table of contents, list of figures and list of tables. So in this video we'll have a look at how you can achieve that. If we just scroll down to our table of contents placeholder page, um, it's a good idea at this point to make sure that you've got your show hide tool switched on so that you can uh, position your table of contents uh, in front of the page break. Next thing to do is head over to your References tab and then click on Table of Contents within the Table of Contents group. The first three options that are presented to you are um, pre-formatted um, options and you can use those if you're in a hurry but I would recommend heading down to the Custom Table of Contents option. What that gives you is a bit more flexibility in terms of organising how your table of contents appears on the page. So as a default, uh, Word will give you um, three levels of contents and what that means is that it looks at heading level one, two and three and pulls the information into your table of contents based on those. If however you want to increase the number of heading levels that you including your table of contents, you simply use the spinner to increase it there. You could at this point say OK and that will insert a table of contents for you, that's absolutely fine, but if you want to edit um, this in any way, for example you might want to draw more attention to your, uh, your chapter uh, headings than the rest of the document. So I'm just going to undo that and repeat again. I'll show you how to um, modify your table of contents. So as you'd expect you're going to go to the modify button and this presents you with a list of options which are TOC1 through to 9 and TOC1 uh, is a table of contents 1 and this is a style that relates to heading level 1 but only as it appears in your table of contents so it's a style uh, specifically for your table of contents which relates to how the different heading levels within your document appear so TOC1 is our heading level 1, that's our chapter heading so I'm going to modify that just to differentiate it a bit by increasing the size fractionally and making it bold just going to say OK at that point, say OK again and you'll see the difference that that makes. So it just draws more attention to your chapter headings. So let's scroll down now to our list of figures and you might well expect that your list of figures could be added from the same dialog box because you may have noticed at the top here it says table of figures as a tab but you can't actually access it from this dialog box for some reason. So what you need to do instead we're still within the references tab here but you've got a captions group and part of that because table of figures, um, list of figures, list of tables they are linked into your captions have been grouped together there and um, very much uh, the same dialog box approach as your table of contents. The key thing to uh, concentrate on with your list of figures and list of tables is simply the caption label so if you availed yourself of the existing labels in Word um, you will be limited to figure, table and equation but you can of course create your own caption labels if you've done that, if you created yourself a label of photo or image when you were doing your captioning that too would appear in this drop down list and you would need to associate the table, your list uh, with the appropriate um, caption label. For our purposes in this um, exercise we just utilise the figure caption label so I'll go ahead and select that and just say OK and that will pull in our captions for the two wheat images. If I just go down to the list of tables I repeat exactly the same thing here but this time I just choose the label table and say OK and that will pull in our one and only table that we've got in this document. A couple of things just to note about your tables here. Um, they are dynamic so you can control and click to jump to the appropriate area uh, and also um, let's just move this onto the following page. So currently this is on page 3 
Uh, if I just page break that down so that it now appears on page four, let's go back to our table of contents here, you'll see that at the moment it still says page three. So right at the end when you're ready to finalize your document, what you'll want to do is either go through and right click your table of contents list of figures um, separately and say update field or um, if you use control A to select everything in your document you can then go through and update fields that way. I'll do this um, individually just to show you the the change in this document so I'm going to right click say update field um, what it's going to ask me is do I want to update the page numbers or do I want to uh, reinterrogate the text that's associated with my table of contents as well. I didn't change the, um, the chapter title or anything like that but I will just do this for, uh, for uh, to make sure that it's inclusive, make sure that anything that's changed is updated. Say OK and you'll see that the page numbers now update to reflect the fact that I've moved it to page 4. Um, at that stage you are ready to finally save your thesis and get it printed out.